in the way, okay? Right. All right, if the Osprey wants it, I can just set it down. Let's see. Do you um, think they'll see you do it? Do I think they'll see it? Yeah. I don't even think this Osprey even cares that I'm holding it. Maybe, maybe he does, or maybe she does. You want this fish, Osprey? You want this fish? I'm waving this fish right here in my hand. I know it's not really helping that much, but... So if you throw it, he'll see it? It's a fish, I mean... <laughs> Have you seen him eat it before, is what I'm saying? Well, no, I mean, I've seen them eat a fish, but not necessarily my fish. Oh. <laughs> Maybe he'll eat your fish this time. Yeah, that would be something, huh? I mean, it didn't happen last time. It makes me think it'll happen this time. You just gotta make it see it, I guess. Um, make it hit the concrete, it'll make a noise. Right, okay. If it hits the concrete, it'll make like a But the thing is, I can't because huh? it could hurt, the scales could hurt my hands. No, let me had see this it. Happen, it. Had this happen before. Yeah, it's frozen. Get the fish! Get the fish, I'll take. Cheek, 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 cheek. Oh, he did move his head, look. Yeah, that's head bobbing. Head bobbing action. Yeah, so you're just gonna see right there and watch what that osprey does. But if it's completely frozen solid, how's he supposed to eat it? It doesn't matter if it's frozen or not. It's just the looks that matter. And they don't have a sense of smell at all, so they don't have to smell the fish in order to go for it. They just have to see it. A frozen fish looks exactly the same as a non-frozen fish. Yeah, but if he wants to eat the thing... It doesn't matter. The point is it's there. <laughs> That's the whole point. How's he going to eat a frozen fish? He'll, She'll figure it out. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, the last time I was here a couple days ago, I actually saw a a fish that was like already dead over next to that bridge right there. Okay, oh, yeah. it was not it was not on the shoreline, but it was like off like to where that field is, that muddy field that we were looking at. Uh -huh. It was like completely dried out. Like it was looking like so rotten. Yeah. I picked it up and I brought it and I set it right over here. Now I initially had set it on the grass right there but the osprey wasn't going for it so I set it right there. Hmm. I set my fish over there and I, came, I walked all the way around. This osprey still didn't go for it. So they must just not be hungry today. I've seen videos of people throwing fish for for the osprey. I mean, they were live fish, but I mean, probably makes a difference because they're like flopping around. The moods, the movement that gets them because they look for movement. I mean, these aren't scavenging birds. They're not like bald eagles. Like bald eagles, they scavenge. Oh yeah. Like they can they can eat pretty much anything mm -hmm. if they want to. You know, I mean, there's there's really no limits for them. Right. But with the osprey, it's more about what they can catch. Like what they can catch right away. Mm. And this isn't something that's that's noticeable, something that something that moves around. In order for them to notice it, there has to be movement. Right. That's the only way they're gonna go for it. And fortunately I don't know how to catch a fish, so I don't know how I'm <laughs> supposed to do this. I don't even catch fish. And these osprey don't even mess with this, these fishermen at all. Like, they don't have any problems with osprey at all. Yeah. I mean, if you, maybe if you I mean, just... these osprey are just different. Get a fishing rod and catch a little fish and throw them on a the sidewalk. Right. See, see I saw a fishing line... Uh, I saw an osprey grab the fish right from the fishing line. Like, the osprey didn't even wait oh, really? until afterwards. Like, I saw, I saw a video on YouTube of... Huh. Like, it just literally just swooped down. Like, right as that fish was biting on the lure. Like right there, and uh, like I said, it's because of all the movement. Yeah, and that's what they look for is movement. 
And when there's when the fish is on the lure, that fish is moving around like crazy. Right. That fish is like all flopping around and making all kinds of ruckus on the line. Certainly way easier than seeing them just jump out of the water. Because they jump out of the water, it's only like a split second that they're doing that. When they're on the line, they're like struggling for like minutes at a time. Yeah. And I guess that's what the sauce prey wants, I guess. <laughs> right? Is there any other like national parks or anything, stuff like that? Uh, well, there's some state parks. There's, uh, I forget the name of this park. It's, uh, it's like right down the road. It's, you just have to go north of here. And the only thing that's north of there, north of that park, is a big part of the river. A big section of the river. I just haven't gone there. It's Creek something. Some creek park. Creek State Park. But if you go on Google, you can like look it up. Yeah. Yeah, and there's, there's a sign for it like right after you get all the interstate highways there's a sign that shows you like where it is oh, and everything just jumped right there. oh really wow or maybe it was a frog could have mm. been a frog yeah i don't think it was a fish not that close to the shore probably a frog jumped in the water yeah so you see the osprey aren't looking for for movement like that <laughs> that's a bird's life yeah it's a bird's life so, what do you so do? this osprey is used to me. I'm not sure why the other osprey isn't used to me yet. Maybe, maybe because that osprey has been away for so long. Because yeah, they're like I said, their nest is in a baseball field, so they have like months at a time to get used to people. But when they're migrating, they could be migrating to a place that they've never seen a person. Yeah. I mean, they've never seen a person in months. How, how long and they, they don't. I don't think they migrate to the same place. They migrate to separate places. Mm. I believe so. How long do you think an osprey lives for? Um, I'll have to check on that too. A couple of years. I actually brought my phone with me so I can actually Google that in right now. And then we can find the answer. Huh. Oh yeah, my phone is on, that's great. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my data on. Cellular, cellular on. 